KP! KP in the house! You already know how to bounce! It's Disney Detonation coming at you from the Transferno Content Fair Use Studios in New Jersey, and I'm your host, and today's episode is entitled KP, The Bonnet Creek Incident. But before I start playing the, the clips for for that, I wanted to just uh, share with you guys that I found this this um, channel on YouTube yesterday called Troll Patrol. It's called Troll Patrol. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. Now, when I started this vlog, I, I, one of the main things was I wanted to point out when some of these vloggers say things that are not true or like, you know, was there was misinformation or in KP's incidents lying, which is, seems to be happening more and more with this guy, but I have no idea why. This other person, this troll patrol guy is brutal. He's no, there's no stops. There's no, he doesn't hold back or he or she doesn't hold back with anything. He, he did his vlogs on Adam the Woo, Tampa J, this other guy that I've never heard of, something the lion, and he, he this person is like I said before, no holds bar brutal. So the point being here that in the comments I saw a couple of people saying you got to do KP, you got to do KP. Now there's some people here that think I'm a dick and I'm a jerk and I'm you know this you know with Kyle. This once this person gets a hold of this content, it'll be something to watch. You know, that's all I have to say. So let's move on. I'm gonna shrink myself. Oh, come on. Technology. Okay, so the first the first uh, clip is called Not a Staycation. The main reason we're here is not for Staycation Sunday again. It's actually what I've been saying. It's for tomorrow. We're doing a fine dining experience here in. So so from, from my point of view, he's basically saying this is not his Sunday Staycation uh, episode or vlog that he's this is a paid thing that he's doing. So he was hired essentially to attend this Epicurious event at uh at Bonnet Creek. Bonnet Creek. That was the main reason that they invited us, us out is to try this experience that you guys are going to see tomorrow. Okay. So, and by the way, which we'll probably go over again and again, it was $250 per person and $200 for the room. So this was a, a $700 um, job, so to speak. Okay. So the next clip is called Business People Work and Eat. Business People Work and Eat. Obviously, a lot of business people, or if you want to eat, are working right there in their room. So I believe that's also why they have something like that. We they got to do a lot of research, going to compile everything. Okay, so the next clip is called Wipe Your Mouth. Now, I don't know why he would put a clip of himself basically chewing, finishing what he's eating with, you know, uh, crumbs on his lip. I just thought it was funny. And it looks to me like there's cheese stuck in his beard. So when they first got, when they first came into this room, they had like a cheese board. So they like, not, not only did he get this free, this event free, the room free, they treated him pretty well. So he came into like a food, a, a, I think there might've been a bottle. I'm not sure. I could be wrong there, but here we go. Wipe your mouth. This view is incredible. It really is. I mean, it's technically kind of better than the views of the contemporary in a way, because the contemporary just faces a lake or a magic kingdom. Yes, it depends what vibe you want to go for. There's just so much to look at here. Comb the sweet tarts out of your beard and you're on. Don't try to change me, baby. Okay, so the next clip is called Stupid Is As Stupid Does. I will say I've been pacing back and forth. I'm not like a pool person anymore. I'm kind of like a go, go, go. So I'm having a hard time trying to like settle on down like i'm used to go 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 so it's hard for me to kind of sit back and relax but i have trying to chill it's a nice vibe like there's no one here so just so weird you know like going from zero to sorry 100 to zero it's zero to 60 all the time i'm not used to relaxing i'm trying my best to be like kyle just relax you don't need to do anything just chill you're in no rush. You don't have any lines to rope drop. So, so dr being at an amusement park for a rope drop and walking around the park is is go 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 and stressful. I mean, holy cow! You don't have to walk through the parks fast. I have a hard time relaxing. I will admit. It seems like you have a hard time with life. Period. It's hard for me to relax. What a dope! Alexa's is doing a good job. She's reading her book. She's got one more drink. I'm going to get a Long Island to help me relax more. And more just... 
chill. We're gonna take a dip in the pool here soon too. <sighs> Deep breaths. Relax. Oh, Relax. I don't know why I'm talking to myself, but I nuts. am. I do it every day. It's crazy. Oh my god. Okay, so the next clip is preparation bugs me. Preparation bugs me. I'm just pacing back and forth. Go take a nap back there. Mosquitoes. I think you're being dramatic. No, I swear there's mosquitoes. Your buggies are wrong. Yeah, I know. It looks cool. So I don't know if you caught that. So he he's, he doesn't want to sit in the back area anymore because he thinks he's getting bit by mosquitoes. Now, wouldn't you have mosquito bites? I don't know. And then she's telling him you're being dramatic. And then on top of that, she's like, your shirt's button wrong. He's like, it's cool. I mean, what the? F mosquitoes. I think you're being dramatic. No, I swear there's mosquitoes. Your buttons are wrong. Yeah, I know. It looks cool. What is it? Okay, so that whole the reason why i put those two clips together there is because this guy this is the day before or the day of this um epicurious thing now he did zero preparation zero i mean basically all you had to do is go to the website it's two pages here's the main page and it and i'm not sure but it seemed like he like he was reading off of something at some point and here is the menu so here it tells you 250 per person it's a dollar, a dollar, hundred ninety-five dollars a night. Here's the menu. So now you would think that if you're going to this thing, you're vlogging about it, and you're trying to get people to go to it, that you would, you would, I mean, even just briefly look at this because some of these dishes, I, you know, I don't know what the ingredients are. I'd have to look it up. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. So what I did throughout the video was I literally cut a picture out from this, um, this menu and stuck it to the. Uh, to, uh, inserted it into the clip okay so uh, the next clip is called am i going here I had zeta asia here too i wonder if this is any good because we were at la luce and it was amazing i wonder if we're gonna be now now you can see here this is this this is the um menu these are the three different things that they're offering at this restaurant yeah he doesn't know that he's going there and he doesn't know what the what's on the menu for tonight having this in tomorrow's video because we're having quite the dining experience tomorrow make sure you guys stay tuned short rib i bet you any money it's really good prices are nice too he'll bet you any money it's pretty good okay so then and the next clip is called casey is epicurious brand new fine dining experience called epicurious I believe it's only going to be running from October to November. We'll get some details as we head on in. We're kind of going in blind, but I did a little so she did a little research. It's October sixth to November eleventh, as you can see from this clip that I stuck here. It research. I was just, I was epicurious. <laughs> we balance each other well. I like surprises. So does Casey, but she kind of likes see, to come like, on in and more prepared. Yeah, that's just me. I can't help it. I'm excited. He likes surprises. Okay, so the next clip is called uh, Not So Brand New. Tonight, we're going to be experiencing a progressive dining experience, but it's a media preview, and I think we're going to be going to seven total stops here around the Bonnet Creek properties. This whole event is a brand new menu. It's a brand new experience called Epicurious. It's a brand new menu, or is it a brand new event? Well, it's not a brand new event. Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Bonnet Creek and we are going to be doing a progressive dining experience. We're going to be hopping around to different resorts here, sampling some amazing cocktails and food from the restaurants and lounges. And because this is a special dining event with a strict dress code, sorry friends, no hat for this video. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is the event that we are going to be attending tonight. And as you can see in the book, we are going to be stopped. I wonder if they gave him a similar pamphlet that he could have easily looked at before the event started. Looking at some pretty amazing restaurants, including Bull and Bear, which is one that I've always wanted to actually go to. Right now, we're starting off the night at the... Okay, so here we go. So this is 2021. Um, you can see, let me move myself again. I'm going to put myself up here, away from everything. So, as you can see here, this is 2021. It's the same sign. The, the, even the barrels are almost the same. Here's uh, 2023. So, it's been around for at least three years. I mean, you just how do you not know these things and you're getting paid to do it? Okay, so the next, this is where things really start to irritate the crap out of me. So, the next clip is called Monkey Bullshit. 
Our drink is called Monkey Business, and it kind of is Monkey Business because it takes more than a day to make a batch of these. Okay, it takes more than a day to put one, two, three, four, five ingredients together. Now, where did, like, this is just made up bullshit. Bad boys. I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing. He doesn't know how to describe it, but the ingredients are right on the menu. How about you start there? I want to ask if I can, you can get to this bar. By the way, you can come to the Wardorf and try this. It might be off menu, but they can make it. They can make it, so are you going to have to sit at the bar for a day, for 24 hours? It's unbelievable. Holy smoke, okay. Oh, idiot. Okay, the next clip is called, It's an Actual Food Truck. It's an Actual Food Truck. On to the next, we're at Vibe Kitchen. They bought a food truck and they have food trucks here now. Absolutely crazy. Oh, we're heating up here. Vibe Kitchen is an actual food truck. It's an actual food truck. Now you can see here that the food on this in this truck, quote unquote, is from the Bull and Bear, which is a restaurant in the in the building. Further, even more is like he keeps calling the. the I didn't clip it every time he said signature dining and fine dining. This is a food truck in in like the vestibule area where you park, drop your luggage off, and go to the lobby. There's nothing signature or progressive about this part of his tour. Nothing. Owned by Hilton. There is a, a three-day process for this meat. It's the same process as the drink? You heard me right. A three-day process. Wow. It's a three-day process. Okay, so the next clip is called Fine Dining plus KP equals football game. I sort of kind of feel like I'm at a tailgate party. That sounds like fine dining to me. Now they'll use this. Those are people throwing up. We're the porter potty. Food truck for whatever they want to utilize it for. It's always going to be for this vent, and you can catch it sometimes by the pool. And it is a vibe. I feel like I'm going to a football game. Okay, so this next clip is called the four Ps, and it's prior planning prevents poor performance. And then I've got the seared scallops with a yuzi, yuzuzi parmesan foam yuzu, finger lime, and curio goma. What the heck is curio? It's just an instance where if you had the menu prior and you didn't know the ingredients, you could look it up and find curio it. Curio goma. So, okay, so the, re so the next couple, the several clips is about him describing the, the his culinary experience. His, you know, what his, what his palate is, is, is um, discerning. Guys, this is incredible. This is fine dining at its best. Guys, I, I don't know what else to say besides this food is crazy. Unbelievable. Probably my best dining experience I've ever had in my life, if I'm being brutally honest. All signature dining. All right, I'm just being obnoxious at this point, but here we are. Okay, so I've heard of signature dining before, and I didn't really give it much thought. So I tried looking it up, and when you when you go online, it's this is what it says: unparalleled, unparalleled cuisine and upscale, elegant surroundings. Now, a food truck in a parking lot is not upscale or elegant. I mean, the, I think the Bull and Bear is like a Michelin-rated restaurant, but the weird thing about this is when I look it up, it's always attached to Disney. I don't know if Disney coined this phrase or or what. Maybe I, I, I'm just not because I tried several different ways of searching, and this is what I came up with. So you can see here, everything's like W Disney, 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 Disney. All right, so that's enough of that. All right, so the next clip is called KP, Culinary Expert, and this really drove me crazy. Here's the thing, guys. Last time Casey and I were here, it's the same thing. We have the same opinion. This is way better than Disney food. It is upscaled. So it's way better than Disney food. It's upscaled. Way better than Disney food. It is upscaled. So if you guys have little ones or you're going on like a date night at Disney, come to one of these restaurants because they are really upscaled. We're blown away. It's just like, you know, there's park food and then there's like fine dining, exquisite food. Is that the right word? Exquisite food? What a, what a moron. I mean, look at this restaurant. It looks like you're in a, like a catering I'm in one hall. of these restaurants because they are really upscaled. It's got like tile. Away. It's just like, you know, there's food, roof. and then there's like ceiling. fine dining, exquisite food. Is that the right word? Exquisite food? It's exquisite? Yeah. 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 I'm going to stuff a sock in his mouth. Okay, so he. how do you compare this to Disney in, 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 the, in the 
context that he did. It's just, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, Disney has Victor, Victor, uh, Victorian Alberts, which is like, you need like a jacket to get in this place. It's got uh, Topolinos. It's got the Yachtsman Steakhouse. It's got Narcosis. It's, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And if you're staying on grounds, you don't need to go anywhere. They have transportation for you. So to sit there and say that this, the food at Disney is not comparable to the food at this hotel is, is to me, so utterly ridiculous. I mean, it's just mind-blowing mind to me that this fool is keeps on that nobody calls him out on this ever all right that's it for this episode uh that's ridiculous mo and transmission <laughs>